Hi, uh, so this is the TI Presenter, which is a currently $300 plus device that allows you to connect a Texas Instruments graphing calculator equipped with a view screen connector, such as this one, otherwise known as a Teacher's Edition calculator, to a TV or VCR or projector or whatever through the device's composite video out jack. I also have a TI-84 Plus presentation link, which is a USB peripheral that you can connect to any TI-84 Plus or TI-84 Plus Silver Edition through USB, uh, which will effectively give it a view screen connector so that you can connect it to the TI presenter to the TV. Uh, when you connect the USB cable to the calculator, as I've done here, and turn it on, you can see that the LCD's contents are displayed in real time on the TV. And it will update as you go through various menus or do math or screw up entering math <laughs> or graph stuff or play games like Tetris which as you can see does not work so well because um, the presentation link adapter requires a little more LCD delay time when writing to the controller than the built-in LCD controller uh, has so uh, because most games have their own LCD delay routines built in for speed um, it doesn't quite work so well and so you get this. Uh, it could be fixed by patching the game or reassembling it from source or what have you, but that's an awful lot of effort and I just don't really want to do it. So um, back to the device itself. Uh, you can see, or maybe you can't see, on the front there are two connectors. Uh, one is a Type 1 view screen cable that will connect the device to a calculator with a view screen port or the presentation link adapter. And it also has a 2.5 millimeter serial I.O. port, which used in combination with the GraphLink cable and a computer will allow you to reflash the firmware on it, or upgrade the firmware on it. Um, I haven't had any luck as of yet disassembling the firmware, but it doesn't appear to have any sort of validation attached to it, so if we can understand it, uh, we should be able to modify it and reflash it. In fact, we should be able to do it ourselves from a graphing calculator, uh, meaning we would store the firmware on the graphing calculator and actually transfer it uh, to the device and flash it right then and there. Uh, TI's firmware is about 75 kilobytes, which will fit just fine on most calculators. Uh, on the back, we have a 6-volt power connector. I know you can't really see it, but... Uh, and there's also a PS2 mouse port, which is for quote-unquote future use, whatever that means. A, uh, of course, the composite video out. An NTSC PAL switch for our international users and a USB female B port, which again is for future use, as of 10 years ago. Uh, so back to the calculator. Um, the way it outputs to the TI presenter, or the presentation like I should say, uh, is done a couple different ways. Uh, one is the actual view screen connector, which uh, connects the LCD controller and the calculator directly to the TI presenter, which um, means it's all done in hardware and the calculator doesn't have to do anything at all to output its contents to the LCD. The other way is the presentation link adapter, <clears throat> and because it's a USB peripheral, the calculator has to initialize it, uh, set it up, and enable its extra hardware, which will, which is present in uh, every 84 plus and 84 plus silver edition, which will automatically mirror uh, the contents of uh, the LCD uh, through USB directly to the presentation link. 
So uh, the OS also doesn't have to do anything to uh, actually output its contents once it's initially set it up. Um, I have managed to figure out how to disable that extra hardware uh, through code and reverse the protocol that the adapter uses uh, so that we can output whatever we want to the TV and not just what's currently on the screen. Uh, that has massive poten that has massive potential for uh, games, dual screen applications, or just screwing with your feature, you know, whatever. Um, I have a little proof of concept application here, which will display whatever picture you want on the TV. And you can see that the Oculus LCD and the TV have different images. That's actually more significant than it seems. <laughs> So there's that. Uh, since I don't have a hardware USB protocol analyzer because it's so ridiculously expensive, uh, in order to figure out how the presentation link adapter worked, uh, I had to write an application on yet another calculator here to pretend to be the presentation link so that when I connected it directly to this calculator, um, this calculator would believe it was talking to the presentation link uh, it would enable its extra hardware and it would send its contents to this calculator where I was able to log it and see what was going on. And then proceeded to stare at the logs for a very long time until I started seeing the pattern. Which took quite some time, took all night actually, but uh, eventually got it working, as you saw. Um, so that's basically the TI presenter in a nutshell. Uh, I didn't see any other videos online showcasing the device, uh, what it is, how it works, uh, what's possible with it, so here we are. Hope you enjoyed it.